Hello everyone, welcome to JS Podcast. So today we are going to discuss about fractional orbital bombardment system. So last year in October 2021, there was a news that China may have tested an orbital bombardment system. And it has promoted the Western defense analyst to suspect that China may have achieved a new military capability. So the whole story is that China launched a long march rocket that employed a technique to propel nuclear capable glider into orbit, allowing it to speed towards its target at the hypersonic speed. So if all these revelations are true about China, it is a clear indication that China is making quick progress in developing weapons that can evade the existing anti-ballistic missile shields and the early warning system that is present in North America and the European Union. So in today's video, we will discuss what is fractional orbital bombardment system in detail. And after that, we will also discuss a question that have been asked in prelims this year. So let's begin. Now let's understand what is fractional orbital bombardment system. So if we talk about little history behind it, this system is not a Chinese discovery and it is not developed by China. In fact, in the 1960s, the Soviet Union developed an orbital bombardment system that could carry a nuclear weapon into orbit at a lower trajectory. And since its flight path would not expose the target location, warheads could be guided to North America over the South Pole thus avoiding the detection by North American Aerospace Defense Command's early warning system that are north facing. So this is the history of the development of fractional orbital bombardment system. Now the main idea behind this system is a warhead which is put into stable orbit and it deorbits over the target. So if the target and launch position is lined up and the warhead keeps going round, it will complete a circle. Now the real point is that missile can be flown directly to the target or it is fixed in the opposite direction, the other way around the planet and still arrive at the target from the opposite direction over the south pole instead of the North Pole, where all of North America's early warning, early warning systems are pointed. So the fundamental thing is that the missile may be flown straight to the target or it can shot other way around the world and still reach the target over the southernmost pole rather than the North Pole, which is where most early warning systems are aimed. So fractional orbital bombardment system uses a low earth orbit towards its target destination which makes it more difficult for high angle ground based early warning radars to detect it. So in this way it can avoid the early detection system. So this is how fractional orbital bombardment system can work. Okay, now let's uh, quickly discuss a question which I've been asked in prelims this year. So the question is, which of the following statements best reflects the idea behind the fractional orbital bombardment system often talked about in media? So if we see carefully all the options, the option number C best reflects the idea behind the fractional orbital bombardment system. Because as we have already discussed, fractional orbital bombardment system is a warhead delivery system that uses a low earth orbit towards its target destination and just before reaching the target, it deorbits. So the flight path of the warhead from the system does not reveal the target location till the payload hits the destination. So we can say that uh, this option that is option number C is correct one and other given options are not very relevant to the question so we can easily eliminate them. 
So the correct answer for this question is option number C. Okay, now if you have any doubt or suggestion regarding this question or this whole topic, please write it in the comment section and you can also download the PDF from the description box. So stay tuned with us for such more interesting GS topics. Till then, thank you everyone and have a nice day. The question is, which of the following statements best reflects the idea behind the fractional orbital bombardment system often talked about in media? So if we see carefully all the options, the option number C best reflects the idea behind the fractional orbital bombardment system because as we have already discussed, fractional orbital bombardment system is a warhead delivery system that uses a low earth orbit towards its target destination and just before reaching the target, it deorbits. So the flight path of the warhead from the system does not reveal the target location till the payload hits the destination. So we can say that uh, this option that is option number C is correct one and other given option are not very relevant to the question so we can easily eliminate them. So the correct answer for this question is option number C. Okay, now if you have any doubt or suggestions regarding this question or this whole topic, please write it in the comment section and you can also download the PDF from the description box. So stay tuned with us for such more interesting GS topics. Till then, thank you everyone and have a nice day.